Okay. check out Kakawa Chocolate House, which apparently you can get a flight of hot chocolate, um, and it's, I guess, authentically, like, early Spanish, Mexican, Native American kind of, uh, deal, so it's, like, old recipes and stuff, so I'm expecting some spice and some, um, probably some chili and maybe some cinnamon and some different, different, uh, things to dress it up, so we're gonna see what it's like. Okay, so I love this place already because it's teal. Look. So here we have here we have a passion fruit and a what is this one? Portana. Maybe you shouldn't have any of it. It's very horchata y It's a blast of cinnamon after like maybe 10 seconds. This is a passion fruit. Oh my gosh. I never thought that these things could go together. Mexican, a Mayan, Jeffersonian, which was supposed to be more of like an American flavor, and then Aztec. The Aztec one um, has no sweetener in it whatsoever. So all you're tasting is the taste of the chocolate, so it's very bitter. Canela? Yeah. So this one is a little bit more modern. This is the, no, this one's sweet. This one? This is Mayan. This one has a lot of spices in it. Oh, it really packs a kick. It like hits you in the back of the throat. It's super floral. You can taste like, it's almost like pollen in it. It's so flowery. But then it's also spicy because it has chili in it. Do you taste any canibre? No. I don't think so. Yeah. 
Look at look at that frown when she finds out that there's no jengibre in it. Steve was afraid that I'm gonna drink all of it because it's my favorite. Which one's your favorite so far? Modern Mexican. This one has no sweetener at all. This is like the most. I think this would be the closest to the actual like Aztec drinking chocolate around the time that the conquistadors were here. I'm actually going to go out on a limb here and say it might be worth coming all the way to Santa Fe just to go to chocolate house. It's pretty incredible. Alright, let's go up. We're going to see if we can get a better view of the whole city. It's an interesting city. Everything, pretty much everything looks the same. It's sort of this Pueblo style uh, houses with very narrow streets. As you go along, there's these uh, historical looks. So, this is the oldest capital city in the United States. Not the oldest city, I think the oldest is St. Augustine, which is uh, on the northeast coast of Florida. But I think, I think it's the oldest capital, so that's good. Thank you. Plaza Cafe now. It's a mainstay in Santa Fe. Um, it's sort of the heart of where you get a lot of the food with chilies, because chili is sort of the staple food here. Uh, the Santa Fe thing is Frito pie, so we're going to try that. We're going to try some of the a New Mexican stew, and then some mole, which I'm not super, I don't know if I'm super into it, but we're going to try it. <laughs> Get some of that hominy in there. Spicy. All right, we're gonna try some of the mole. We're still just gonna get some of the sauce first. It's actually pretty good. It's very earthy, but you can taste the chocolate. So we're about 20 minutes in and uh, we're starting to sweat a little bit. It is completely saturated with chilies. This chili cheese pie. So if, if they say, do you want green or red chilies? Say both, but on the side. And then you can kind of control how much you want. We said put it all in. And whew, maybe just a little slightest bit of regret. Good flavor, but man, is it hot. It's true. Welcome. We are at Meow Wolf, which is an interactive, I don't even know what you call it. Art it's like experience. a, it's like an art experience museum where it's uh, 2,200 square feet and it has, I think, over 10 rooms filled with different experiences and you're allowed to touch things and interact with things. So are we inside our comfort zone or outside our comfort zone?
church in the continental United States. It's called the San Miguel Chapel. And the exterior walls go back to about the early 1600s. So, it's pretty old. 